What's going on guys? Welcome back to a video that a lot of you have been asking me and I posted one with the Duramax but you guys want to know about the Ram. So let's get into it real quick. Now you guys want to know Eddie what PIDs do you monitor and why do you have so many uh, eye dashes? Honestly guys uh, you don't need this many. I did it just for looks basically but I did also like it because I don't have to now switch through pages when I am looking, you know, want to look at different pits. So let me uh, show you here. I'll show you. Actually, I don't know uh, with it being on run. Let me make sure it will actually pop up. Might have to start it. All right, here we go. Close the door so we're going to listen to that beeping. But um, if these shut off, my apologies. Okay, so how I have it set up is I have five pids per eye dash setup and also these eye dashes are the data monster reason i like the data monsters is because i keep an sd card in here so a lot of times almost every time when i'm towing oh they shut off okay the truck probably has to be on but the reason why i have this sd card in here is because when i do tow i like to record and just hold the button down the bottom button down it'll start recording for you and then you can actually see like say there was a hiccup or you just want to see how it towed, uh, boost, you know, sometimes it's hard to monitor all of them while driving. So that's why it's nice to record. Now, for PIDs, the very first PID I watch, EGTs. Obviously, that's very important because if you got too high EGTs, you're going to have issues. You can melt the piston, it causes a lot of big problems, especially having a tune truck. Or not, it doesn't have to even be deleted, just having a 50 state legal tune, you want to monitor those PIDs. Now, PID number two, boost. Because, well, I want another boost. Oh my goodness, this is gonna shut up. I gotta hit this every time. Now, next one, exhaust pressure. This one I was just comparing uh, to another Ram. So, I mean, this was not too important to me, um, but I just kept it there because I like to know the exhaust pressure. Now, we got fuel rail pressure and we got commanded fuel rail pressure. These are important to me because, well, you want to make sure that they're both matching. They don't have to be exact. So if one says, you know, like 10 and one says 11, you know, that's really, that's okay. It'll, it'll catch up. This is so annoying. So these, you'll notice, they're always pretty much exact when uh, driving. You know, mine are always going to be, you know, 12 and 12. So I want to monitor that. So I see one at like 18 and one at 13, you know, something's wrong. Something, that tells me something's not right here. RPM. Um, I just like to see exact, you know, this is always a rough, obviously, you know, but this just shows you exact, it's not too important. Vein position, I like to see this vein position. This will tell you if your exhaust brakes work and say something's wrong or, you know, it's very common um, where the, uh, on the VGT turbo on these things, it gets built up full of soot, you know, and you won't see it working. This is cool because when you hit kick on that exhaust brake, you'll see this go to 100%. So that's cool to see. This is your inlet temperature right here to see how much, what you know, what that temperature, your intake, that air intake's been sucking up. Uh, so this is strictly temperature. This is a CFM. I like to see what the engine is pulling, you know, how much CFM it's pulling. And again, guys, these are just what I am monitoring. You could change however you want. Uh, what gear you're in, just so you don't have to, you know, sit and toggle it. Right here, torque. I like to see this. Now, how accurate is this? I don't really know, but... I will say, you know, when I get on it, pull up the, the hill, it's, this thing is showing like 1100, uh, 1120, you know, foot pounds of torque when I am pulling, climbing the, uh, the hill. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, you know, like I said, I'm sure you're going to ask me, you know, that's probably not accurate. I, I don't know, but you know, it's something that's cool to monitor. Now this is the turbo temperature right here on the compressor side. Just lets me know the temperature. MAD manifold air density. This is really, really important, guys, if you are tuning your truck or are switching through tunes. This thing, every time you hit that switch on your CSP or DSP5 switch or your uh, Banks, Derringer, whatever it is, this number should go up. If it does not go up, then something's going on with the tune. So this is cool to watch because you'll see this thing climb over like the 300 marker. Uh, when I like stick this thing in the number, well, you can't see, but the switch in number four, uh, you'll see this thing go over like 313, 300, you know, 18. So that's pretty cool uh, to watch is um, the manifold air density. Here's the load, how much engine load. Um, you can uh, monitor that. 
and then fuel. Fuel, all this does is give me a percentage. Now guys, depending on your truck, you're gonna have different PIDs or more PIDs or maybe not as much PIDs, uh, but everybody with the Ram, you're gonna have exactly what I got. Um, so this is just my, you know, these are the most important things to me. Again, you can set up however you want, whatever, you know, you think and whatever you feel comfortable with. For me, when I'm towing, all I really look at is boost, um, EGTs, I like to see the EGTs, and rail pressure. Uh, those are my main, you know, top three that I'm monitoring when I am towing. When I'm driving around, I'm barely looking at this thing. If anything, I'm staring at rail pressure and I'm staring at the EGTs. When I'm cruising, I'm not really building boost, you know, I'm not hauling butt, I'm just cruising the truck. Oh, and I didn't show you guys over here what Nick did. So, oh, and real quick, for you guys to keep asking me, you bought another scissor lift? No, I did not. Uh, this is a customer's, just doing uh, some maintenance on it. Uh, he needed like some wiring was destroyed had a bunch of corrosion everywhere. So uh, It's all done now, but no, it's not mine. This is just the customers, but check this out So look at Nick every time Nick takes this thing right and brings it back Something happens. There's a new ding a dent uh, a, a, a shatter who knows what it is This we have no idea you guys kept saying trailer was well, not a trailer just because Nick's trailer clears so when he puts a tailgate down there's still room so um nick says this is me which you know i mean i don't really go nowhere um so i'm calling bs on that then he pulls up here right now you guys ready for this and i'm like wait a minute what the hell happened here what what is it like look at this what the shit well scruff here there you go little busted tail light there still has a reverse light i mean look at this what oh shoot oh, oh look at that that's about to come off and where does he keep the piece right there there's an the extra piece that's all what are you going to save it you're going to glue it on so when you guys do see this truck i don't want you to think that i'm abusing it this is all genesis detailing's uh skill right here i told him what how, how does that even happen dude so he started explaining i just stopped him i said ah, don't worry about it then he got a nice little door ding right here look at that and you know, this is only Nick guys, because if I go somewhere, like I wouldn't even take my truck. I'll take my little Nissan that's behind that garage if I'm gonna be parking. I only drive my truck if I'm like, I don't know where, I know there's huge parking lots or going to a friend's house where I'm not gonna get a door ding. Um, so yeah, you can go DM Nick and tell him what's going on dude. He's playing bumper cars with that truck. He's not used to, you know, big rammers. Actually the problem is he got so used to technology with his Ford uh, that thing doesn't have any technology. There's no beeping. There's no reverse camera. You actually have to drive. You know, you gotta actually look and pay attention. So I think Nick was saying, oh yeah, he just didn't see, you know, or he was on the phone, yada, yada. Yeah, he was depending on a beeper or a buzzer, nothing went off and he just heard a big kaboom. And that was his indication of, yeah, he should stop, you know, and not destroy or rip this pole out of the ground. And for you guys that keep seeing this, yes, it is T6 540, full synthetic. No, I'm not selling it. I know it's not for sale. Uh, no, I'm not giving it to you. I'm not shipping it to you. Uh, where we got it from? Well, these were uh, the last ones, believe it or not, that um, our buddy Spencer, we were searching and searching because at the Napa, there was none. And we've had an order for three months, can't get it. Um, they had, I forgot where Spencer found it from, but it was online and they only delivered to a house. So I told him just order all of them. We got like, I don't know, 15 of them. Spencer really needs it. He drives his truck a lot. So he's doing oil changes consistently. I don't drive mine too much, um, but I will need an oil change coming up soon. So, and this stuff still, we can't find it. So uh, please don't DM me, ask me, you wanna buy it or can I send it to you? Cause I'm not giving it to you. Sorry guys. And for you guys that keep asking me if I've installed this, no, not yet, because I'm waiting for one other thing to come in and then we will start the, uh, the install video but that's all i got for you guys today i just want to make a quick video of the pids and which one i monitor um just so you guys are aware but thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video hit that thumbs up button don't click subscribe Peace. Yeah.